It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Tonight, I want to give you some scriptures. We're going to just call it the power of your voice and opening the door to the supernatural. So if you have your Bible, open up 2 Corinthians 4, 13. We can probably quote some of these verses. You probably know them well. Amen. But it's good to look at them, isn't it? We trust the Holy Spirit to give us fresh revelation and fresh application. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4, 13, then we'll jump over to Mark 11, 22 and 23. But 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13, the apostle Paul says, We having the same spirit of faith. He says, According as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. He said, We also believe and therefore speak. Paul said, We have, we having, Amen. It's not just something we had, but it's something we have and it's something that we are having constantly. He says the same spirit of faith. Now, you, of course, know that anything I know about this, I probably learned from Dad Hagen. Amen. <laughs> he got me started that direction. And um, when he began to talk about this, use this scripture here. The spirit of faith, that's what Paul said, that's what we have. He said, it's not just something I have. He said, it's something we have. We have. That means the spirit of faith, first of all, is contagious. Boy, I'm telling you, I said the spirit of faith is contagious. I'm telling you, the spirit of faith is contagious. I mean, if you're just, if you're just hanging out with three or four people with a spirit of faith, you'll get to where you're expecting supernatural miracles all the time. Come on, you're expecting the faithfulness of God. Amen. Things that look impossible. Smith Wigglesworth said you just laugh at impossibilities. Go ahead and laugh at a few things that look impossible right now. Ha, ha, ha. That the spirit of faith, <laughs> the spirit of faith will make you grab a corn stalk, swing out over hell, and spit in the devil's eye. Y'all look at somebody and say, I'm getting some spit ready right now. In other words, everything the devil lied to you about, you ought to say, that ain't backing me up one bit. I'm going to go forward, swing out over hell, and spit in your eye. Amen. So when Paul said, we have the same spirit of faith, you couldn't hang out with Paul without catching what he had. Amen. You could say the spirit of faith that Timothy caught it from Paul. In other words, the principles of faith are taught, but the spirit of faith is caught. I mean, what would make Joshua, come on, command the sun to stand still. I mean, I'm not sure how he knew that was even on the menu. How did he know that was available? He must have caught something from Moses when Moses stood there at the Red Sea and he stretched out his rod and those waters parted and Joshua went, whoo! Hallelujah. So Joshua and Caleb had that same spirit of faith, and they had it at 80 years old. Come on, look at somebody and say, you ain't too old yet. You ain't too old. You ain't too old. Come on, at 80 years old, Joshua and Caleb had that spirit of faith. Amen. Joshua and Caleb had it at 80. 
Amen. Said, we're well able. Give us this mountain. We're well able. Come on. Come on. Everybody's fighting about their retirement. Joshua and Caleb said, we ain't even fixing to retire. Come on. We're going to possess the land. We got some more mountains we're going to take here. We ain't looking for no rocking chair. Come on. We're going forward. That means your best days are ahead of you. Your best miracles are ahead of you. Come on. Look at somebody and say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on. Don't let the devil tell you your best days are behind you. God said your best days are ahead of you. Your best miracles are ahead of you. Your best blessings are ahead of you. Hallelujah. Go ahead and laugh a few minutes. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, laugh at a few things that look impossible. Just laugh at it and say, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, laugh in the face of the enemy. Laugh in the face of circumstances. Come on, if God said it, he'll do it. If he spoke it, he'll make it good. He'll bring it to pass. Hallelujah. What does that mean? That means I'm the believer here. I'm not the performer. I'm just the believer. I don't have to make it happen. I just got to believe, open the door to the supernatural, and let God come right through that door. The way the Lord said it to me, he said, just because you know how faith works does not mean you know how I'm going to do your miracle." Come on, we're just going to study how faith works, but we don't know how God's going to do that miracle. He may bring it through the roof, through the door, through the floor. He may use somebody you never even met yet, but I'm just telling you, God will bring it to pass. I'm the believer. He's the performer. Go ahead and laugh a few more minutes here. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, while we're praising, while we're rejoicing, while we're shouting. Come on, God is reaching out into your future. Come on, the next six months of your life, he's making some crooked things straight. Darkness, light before you. He's got some things prearranged for you. Come on, he's God. He can do it however he wants to do it. Nothing is impossible with him. There's no limits on him. He's God. Just let him be God. Hallelujah. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. When you have a spirit of faith, come on now. You may not be the most educated. You may not be the most talented. You may not be the best looking. But people will forget you're ugly when you have a spirit of faith. I mean, they won't even be looking at you. They'll say they got something of the supernatural. Because if you believe, you'll see the glory of God. Come on now. you got a spirit of faith. You say, I may not have everything, but I know what I do have. Ha, ha, ha. Let me try to get back to my notes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Joshua and Caleb had it at 80. But there's a guy by the name of David that had that same spirit of faith at 17. Come on, at 17. I said at 17. I said at 17. I said at 17. Come on, some of you young people ought to get fired up. Come on now. You don't have to wait till you're 40. You don't have to wait till you're 50. At 17. God is faithful at 17. Glory to God. 
Paul said, we have the same, we have the same, the same identical spirit of faith. And then he quotes from the Psalms. If you ask Paul, ask the Apostle Paul, what is it that you have that kept you from collapsing, from fainting, from giving up, and from quitting? What is it that you have that kept you on course to do the will of God? When the whole Roman Empire tried to stop you, storms tried to stop you, demons tried to stop you, circumstances tried to stop you, religion tried to stop you, and Paul said, nothing can stop this. I have a spirit of faith. I believe God. Hallelujah. Write half the New Testament, and he could be shipwrecked, we know, three or four times. Shipwrecked, snake bit, beaten ahead, left for dead, all in one day. And then stand up and say, Now thanks be unto God, who always causes me to triumph in Christ Jesus. All oh, thanks be unto God. Come on, right in the middle of your situation, you'll say, thanks be unto God who always causes me to triumph in Christ Jesus in every place, in every city, and in every nation. Ha, ha, ha. The spirit of faith <laughs> does not necessarily make you a perfect person. I know you don't want to look around right now. But in Hebrews chapter 11, the faith chapter, 20 times it says, by faith, by faith, by faith. By faith, 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 by faith. Come on, the Holy Spirit chose to put 20 times by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, through faith, through faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, 20 times. So if you said, Lord, how am I ever going to do your will? He's going to say, by faith, 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 by faith. Come on, you have a measure of the God kind of faith, overcoming faith. Come on now, you have a measure of mountain moving faith. Come on, you got to measure the same stuff God used. Make the world in the beginning. Hallelujah. By faith. And then it lists people in Hebrews 11 that most people wouldn't even want in their church. I was reading Hebrews 11 one time. I said, now, look at who's in there. We have some major defects here. Have you ever read Hebrews 11? You got some people in there with some defects. I mean, you got Moses in there. He had an anger problem. And he killed a guy. You got Abraham in there, and he just can't tell the truth all the time. You got Noah in there, and he got depressed, and mm, after that whole boat thing, I mean, he just said, I just can't take it no more, and he just got drunk. I told the Lord one time, if I was him, I would have edited the Bible, because I wouldn't want everybody to know stuff my kids did. 
So I said, Lord, how come you, how come you didn't edit the Bible? He said, because I want everybody to know the whole story. Come on, because 2,000 years later, there's going to be somebody that failed, had a mistake, and messed up, and the devil's going to tell them, and they're going to look at the Bible and say, well, but God used Moses. He used Abraham. Come on, he used Joshua. He used Noah. Come on now. You even got Rahab a harlot. You say, how did they get in there? You got Samson. How did he get in there? You got David. They're still talking about stuff David did in Jerusalem. <laughs> Some people will never forget your mistakes. Come on, but God will forgive you, and he'll forget it, and wash you in the blood, and he'll raise you up. And he'll use you just like you didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> so I told the Lord, I said, there's a lot of people in Hebrews 11 with some defects in there. Well, I went to buy my wife a diamond one time, and this guy's explaining to me. He said, really, all diamonds have a defect. All of them. He said, even the best have a defect. You can find it. He said, really, even the real expensive diamonds have a defect. He said, matter of fact, the only thing you can get that don't have a defect is a cubic zirconium. <laughs> and they're fake. <laughs> so anytime the devil's pointing out your defects, you say, at least I ain't no cubic zirconium. I'm the real thing here. Come on, I've been forged. So when Paul says we having the same spirit of faith, what is the spirit of faith? He quotes from the psalmist David, and we know David had that spirit of faith. Hallelujah. When you have a spirit of faith, even if you fail, that spirit of faith will pick you back up. Now, come on, the devil will focus on what you don't have and what you lost, but you say, but let me tell you something I still have. I still have the same spirit of faith, and that'll pick you right back up. Have faith in God. Have faith in the blood of Jesus. Have faith in the Word of God. Ha uh -huh. Amen. So he says, he quotes from David. And David said in Psalms 116, he said, I was greatly afflicted in a time of adversity. And he said, in the middle of my affliction, he said, I believed and therefore have I spoken. In other words, he said, I believe and I speak. And here's what David said. He said, in the middle of my affliction, I said, the Lord has delivered my life from death. That means I know I'm going to live now. He's delivered my eyes from tears. That means I'm not going to keep crying about stuff. Come on, there comes a time when you just got to say, you know, I ain't crying about that no more. Come on. I said, there comes a time you guys say, you know, I ain't even crying about that no more. And the Lord turns your mourning into dancing. He turns your sorrow into joy. So he said, he delivered my eyes from tears. And then he said, he delivered my feet from falling, which simply means I'm not going to keep tripping and stumbling over the same thing. When Paul said, we have the same spirit of faith, what is the spirit of faith? He said it has two main ingredients. Number one, I believe, and then number two, I speak. In other words, for the spirit of faith to work, you must believe and speak. 
In other words, it's not enough to be a believer. You must also be a speaker. Or you could say it this way, you must keep your speaker connected to your believer. Because if you're not careful, your speaker will get connected to your feelings and your circumstances and your kinfolk's opinions. Come on, but if you're going to maintain a spirit of faith, how many of you ever remember Dad Hagen saying, hold it just a second, I got to get my tongue hooked back up to my spirit. How many of you like to tell some people sometimes, say, hold it just a second, you really need to get your tongue hooked back up to your spirit because obviously there's other things working right now. <laughs> Come on, in other words, your tongue can get hooked up or connected to your feelings and to your flesh, and to your circumstances, and to your intellect, and to your reasoning. But if you'll keep your tongue hooked up to your spirit and to your believer, I believe and I speak. Believing is the attitude of faith, and speaking is the initial act of faith. In other words, your faith must be strong enough to move your mouth Hallelujah. Now, just to save a little time, jump to Mark 11, 22 and 23 real quickly. Jump over there real quickly because Jesus says the same thing here about faith. In Mark 11, 22, 23, and, and uh, I, I know I have a lot of nerve to share these verses with so many faith experts. But how many think Jesus might be an expert? How many think he could teach all of us a few things about faith? Here's what Jesus said in Mark 11, 22. Jesus said, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Jesus said what? Have faith in God. Faith in God. Other translations say, have the faith of God. But listen close. One of my favorite translations says, lay hold on God's faithfulness. In other words, really what your faith is doing is you're laying hold on God's faithfulness. How do you lay hold on God's faithfulness or how does faith work? Jesus here makes it so simple you actually need a theologian to get confused about it. Here's what Jesus said. Jesus said, have faith in God. Did you know you can end a lot of conversations with that one phrase? You say, but you know, people have really let me down. He never told you to have faith in people. He told you to love people. He said, but have faith in God. Have faith in God. The way my daddy said it when I left home is my daddy said, there is a God and I'm not him. You know what that meant? That meant I'm not going to be sending you no money. In other words, he said, you better meet God. You, could, you better meet God for yourself. Have faith in God for yourself. Amen? To have faith in God, and then Jesus explains it. Here's what he says in verse 23. The first thing Jesus said about faith is, Verily I say unto you that whosoever, everybody say whosoever. He said, whosoever shall say. Whosoever shall what? Say. Jesus said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain. I mean, no, Jesus has an attitude. I mean, Jesus has an attitude. <laughs> what kind of attitude does he have? Well, he's got an attitude of faith. I mean, he's constantly teaching them, even correcting them. I mean, think about when Peter walked on the water. He's the only one that got corrected. I don't know about you, but I would have said, hey, I'm, at least I got out of the boat. Why don't you say something to these other guys? Come on, Peter's the only one who gets out of the boat, walks on the water, and then he began to sink. Come on, the Scripture tells you exactly why he began to sink. When you're walking on the water, there's no time to get distracted.
You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries Faith for Every Nation. God is able to work in any situation you're facing right now. The spirit of faith connects you to God's ability. When you're believing for something beyond your natural ability, you can lay hold on God's faithfulness. You're the believer and God is the performer. No matter what you're facing, God is faithful. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or think. We want to offer you Mark Hankins' brand new CD set, God Is Able. In this set, Mark covers over 10 significant God Is Able scriptures that will connect you to God's ability. When you order the CD set, you'll also get Mark Hankins' book, The Spirit of Faith. This book will show you how to win the war of words. Faith is an act. And the simplest definition of faith is acting like the Bible is true. When you order this God is Able package, your gift of $25 or more will help Pastor Mark and Trina Hankins train pastors around the world. Order today by calling 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the teaching on the spirit of faith. We have a special treat for you. Our offer this week is my dad's book, The Spirit of Faith. If you have never read this book, you have got to go and get it right now. There have been times in my walk where I've been standing in faith for something and I thought, you know, I, I've got this, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm standing, I'm believing, I'm doing everything that I need to do. And then I have gotten this book back out after I've already read it. I get it back out and I'm like, oh my goodness. It just encourages you and gives you the strength and the fortitude to keep going, keep pressing and keep going, gaining the ground that God has for you. So I encourage you to go get this book. You can go to markhankins.org or you can call the number on the screen. Until next time, I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Have a great day. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. Thank you for watching.